Hi everyone and welcome to AltVR. AltVR is a non-gaming VR YouTube channel, so we're trying to show you interesting alternative and experimental applications in VR that is, yeah, basically everything that is interesting that is not gaming. Now in this application we're taking a look at an application that is called Vintage VR. Now you may think what is so vintage about VR, this is supposed to be the cutting edge technology of our times, and absolutely it is. So many of us think back to 2016 as the year that VR was commercially released, right? We had um, around that time the Oculus Rift, uh, the first uh, version, and we had also the HTC Vive, and we had the PlayStation VR. But some of you may know that there was a lot of VR research going on, for instance, in the 80s and 90s, and people started using it in the industry. We had the first company that was created commercially by Jaron Lanier, the VPL research. And, of course, they also built on something, which takes us back to 1968 as the sort of first head-mounted display uh, that presented computer-rendered graphics. Now, it is possible to go back even further than that to some of the building blocks that are used in the technology of virtual reality today. Actually, very far back, um, almost before there were photographs. So we can go back to 1838 when Sir Charles Whetstone created the stereoscope. And yeah, the stereoscope, I mean, in VR you have one screen for each eye, right? Or at least a diff differently rendered image for each eye. And this is to um, simulate how we normally perceive the world. We have two eyes and they merge together to one image. And this is three-dimensional because there is a slight offset between each eye, which we sort of use to calculate and perceive distance. Now, this was recreated, um, sort of the mechanism that um, allows us to present images in this way that are not just reality. That was made in 1838. So this was so early that people even drew images with this offset so that they could see three-dimensional drawings, or stereoscopic drawings, I should say. And yeah, they had photographs back at that time so that you could actually take three-dimensional or stereoscopic pictures of the world. And this is what the VR application is about. So this was actually quite common to have in the Victorian homes. Uh, for the rich people who could afford these stereoscopes back in the day. So people went around the world and took interesting images, which they then sold to people so that they could have their own uh, sort of uh, very primitive VR experience uh, in the late 19th century. So this is a collection of 700 or more images um, from this period. And it's very interesting to see because um, of course, it's not going to look this interesting in this video, but the application is free and you can check it out yourself. So I particularly enjoyed seeing uh, the late 19th century United States because I've been playing some Red Dead Redemption these um, past few weeks and it's strikingly similar, so it seems that they did uh, the research well in terms of this. But you can also go back to seeing um, yeah, Native Americans, uh, old pyramids. I even actually found a few photos from my um, hometown of Bergen here in Norway. So, um, of course, when people take images with smartphones today, you don't really necessarily think a lot before you snap. But this was, of course, an extensive production. It was probably expensive to take these images, so uh, they are very interesting to watch. Um, yeah, and so this is heartily recommended. Um, I really enjoyed seeing this, just laying back and um, yeah, enjoying all these kind of crazy images. I love them and bears. Uh, for some reason, because bears was probably one of the coolest things you could have back in the day. Now, it may be a bit tiring to see all of these 700 images in one go as I did. Um, it may be related to that these have a, like a fixed interpupillary distance way of perceiving them. I'm not sure if this can be overridden yeah, using your head mount to display. But anyways, I really enjoyed this. It was very fascinating. I've always wanted to buy a stereoscope in order to see these old stereographs whatever they're called. Uh, now I don't have to. Um, still might get one as a souvenir, but I really enjoyed this work and I hope you do too. So I'm not going to show you everyone in this video. I'm just going to show you a few that I found interesting because it's a bit boring to watch like 30 minutes of someone browsing what looks to you just as normal images. But if you view this in VR, you really get the depth and it was a really, really interesting way to experience the past for me. It definitely feels way more real than watching it on a photo. So you can see some old presidents and popes and uh, yeah, everything.
So let's check this out how it looks.
right everyone that was it for this video if you enjoyed this you can get it for free at steam just go and download it and enjoy these nice images i thought that this was a fun activity to do if you enjoyed this video then please consider subscribing to the channel clicking the like button and also clicking the notification bell below the video this really does help our channel to grow and so that we can reach more people and create more content like this thank you